So let's say we have a mesh network with dynamics on it and we want this uh, network to collide with an external object that isn't part of a mesh network. So let's say um, we build ourselves a sphere and then we want to collide with said sphere. So we can put the sphere down here. This sphere is not part of a mesh network. Uh, so if we just uh, rewind and hit play, our cubes just all fall to the floor. So on the solver over here, and we have this uh, roll down called collider objects and what you can do is you can just drag and drop an object in here and this object will be added to the simulation and our mash points will collide with it. So if you double click on this collision object you'll notice that on the uh, shape node here uh, a new mash roll down has been added and this mash roll down contains the collision settings for this object here. So uh, by default the collision shape is automatic you can change that to something like something more specialist like sphere for this and um, there you go um, again we could do um, hull and mesh as well and then infinite plane is another one or so um, yep uh, so yeah that's just how you collide with an external object um, a cool little trick is that you can have um, collision objects that move so if I um, it's just going to shrink this down a little bit and then what I'll do is I'll plane and I'm going to move this plane down, I'm going to scale it right up and then I will add a few more divisions to this plane and then um, I'll go, just go into the deform menu and I'll go to and add a, go and add a texture deformer and um, on the texture deformer I'll add noise so let's add it's just some noise, you can see what's going on here and then um, I'll animate, well in fact what I'll do is I will just turn the frequency down to something like 1, maybe 2 and they'll animate time, so frame one, and then uh, frame, say, 250. Uh, let's set this to maybe three, let's try that. Then back on the texture node, I will just increase the strength like that. And then if I play back, all we have is this. Okay, so now if I add the plane to the bullet solver's um, collider objects like so, You'll see that by default, this is not done what you might expect it to. We're not deforming with the object. Um, so this is actually intended behavior. What you need to do, if you want this uh, mesh to update every frame, is you need to go in here and change this collision type to mesh from automatic. So let's just do that. And you can see that we're actually colliding with the deforming mesh. So just so you know, if you wanted to have a deforming mesh, you need to choose the mesh collision object. It's pretty fun. So that is um, like 101 collision shapes. Uh, 101 collision shapes? No, it's 101 collider objects. So uh, there's an awful lot more to say about collider objects, um, uh, but uh, they will be said in other videos. So um, yeah, that's it for now and carry on.